All right, how's everybody doing out there in calculus land? Today's video lesson brought to you by Mr. Muscarella is going to be section 8.3, trig integrals. And in this particular section, we're going to take a look at these trig integrals because U substitution is not going to work the way it traditionally does in other problems. So we've got to evaluate this integral of sine to the fifth x and then cos squared x dx. Now, one of the things you want to recognize here is that sine is an odd power and cosine is an even power. Anytime you have this, you're going to factor out one from the odd power ones. And sometimes people will call this the odd man out rule. So we're going to keep a sine. We're going to factor that out, sine of x. But then what's left, of course, we're going to have sine of the fourth x. And then we have our cos squared x dx. Now, this piece right here, our little... Um, sine to the fourth guy. We're going to rewrite re, uh, that as sine squared of x and of course that's going to be squared. And then eventually what we're going to do with this is we're going to take that term, so before we actually do that let's rewrite everything here. So we're going to have integral of sine of x and then we have our cos squared of x and don't forget the dx. Now we're going to take that sine squared of x squared, that uh, term in the middle and we're going to rewrite that so that it turns into a trig identity and you should recognize that as being 1 minus cos squared of x squared and then we still have everything else is going to be the same. So after we've expanded the 1 minus cos squared x squared that whole quantity next what we're going to do is we're going to take this cosine squared right here on the outside over to the right and we're going to distribute that to each term here in the parentheses. We're going to have the integral of sine x and then all the other blop de blop there that's in yellow. And don't, of course, forget the dx at the end of it. Now, if you remember some simple stuff here, now is when we're getting to the point where it's like, oh, we can actually use a u substitution here. Before we couldn't, but now we can. Holy algebra, Batman. This is not going to be as hard as we thought it was. Now, since we have two functions here, sine of x and cosine of x, we're going to let u is actually going to be cosine of x. Because that's going to mean du is going to be, look at this, negative sine of x dx. Now, we've got the sine of x part right there and the dx, so the only thing we're missing is just a negative. So we're going to add a negative here, but that, that means we're always going to have a negative on the outside. So now we've got all the pieces we need. Look how simple this is going to be in to integrate. Go ahead and rewrite everything now in terms of u. Now at this point you've got to be asking yourself, oh my gosh, this is almost too easy to integrate. So go ahead and integrate that and then of course back substitute in and you should have all of your answer in terms of cosine. So when we integrate u squared of course we get uh, negative and then one-third. So we're going to kind of distribute this uh, negative sign here on the outside as we go along. So we're going to get negative uh, one-third u squared, or sorry, u cubed, and then plus, now 2u to the fourth, when you integrate that, you'll get two-fifths, 2 over 5u to the fifth power, and then we'll have minus uh, one-seventh, uh, let's see, u to the seventh power. And then, of course, you do not ever, ever, ever want to forget plus c, with that so we have that integral right there and then of course when we make that u substitution back in when we put cosine of x back in anywhere there's a u so our final answer is negative one-third cos cubed of x plus two-fifths cos to the fifth x minus one-seventh cos to the seventh x plus c so as you can see no pun intended that the trig substitution isn't that bad it's just going to take a, a little bit of time until we can actually get to a point where we can make a u substitution. We couldn't initially, but we can in a little bit later down the road. Once we make some conversions using our algebra skills and our trig identity skills. All right, so that's it for example one. Be sure you check out examples two through the rest of the ones in this chapter in other videos. Thanks for watching. You guys have a great day. Peace out.